They know what's happening to them. For Jane Elliott's final flourish, everyone will sit an intelligence test. But she's rigged it, so the blue eyes will fail. Brown-eyed people, move your, cha move your chairs back away from these people, because if they can see your papers, they'll cheat. To guarantee this, she's already given the Browns half the answers and told them to keep it quiet. For the first time, the Blues offer no resistance. Hopefully it makes them aware. There's no way to win. They're in a lose-lose situation. And then eventually, they become resigned to the fact that they have no power. And it's just, might as well sit here and take it. There's nothing I can do about it. But one white volunteer in the brown eyes is about to derail the test. Whose test is this? Hazel. Hazel's. Where's your test? Underneath. Are you checking it at the same time? No. Why not? Because why should I? Why do I have to? What's the relevance? Let me make it relevant for you. This broad doesn't think she has to check her test. We cheated on the test, so I don't see why we should be marking it. Well, you gave us the answers. You didn't so... cheat on the test. So why should I mark it when I know wait, that you've cheated? Wait just a damn minute. You can, as a white woman, prevent white people from learning for as long as you think you can get away with it. Has that fool learned anything yet? She's preventing other people from learning. As She's well. working hard at it, isn't she? Yeah. With the final task thrown off course, the division between white and black surfaces once again. Here was an opportunity to carry out an exercise mm -hmm. and see how people reacted and learned from that. Mm -hmm. But instead, what we got was um, sabotage. Sabotage. Mm -hmm. effect mm -hmm. of, of the situation. Oh. It's, it's not that's exactly it, what it is. Clearly, I think, yeah, that's exactly I think we exactly all understand that this is an exercise exactly and there were is. issues. Now we will never know, will we? This controlled environment is about racism or is about being an underdog because of something you have no control over. Sometimes the, the system is stacked against you and those in power may be uh, operating in a way to put you in a disadvantaged position. Jane Elliott brings her exercise to a close. After 10 hours of struggle, has the exercise revealed the reality of life in modern Britain is still very different for white and black people? I'm 63 years old and I've seen England change so much. Um, you know, for me it's so difficult because all of a sudden, you know, we've got this multiracial society. It wasn't there when I was a kid, when I was a teenager even. And my kids accept it. They're amazing. I'm the one that genuinely has a great difficulty with it. But I'm learning. And today I think I've learned so much. Thank you. For me, I didn't need to ever change my opinions. I walked in there as a person who feels very, very strongly about any form whatsoever of that kind of behavior demonstrated by whether it's one of my friends, one of the children in my class, whatever. I've always felt passionately about that. So I didn't need converting. And to be treated as if I was this pariah who was out there was unacceptable anyway. So I wouldn't pay lip service to her. And my comments at the end were more how disappointed I was. I've been in occasions where people have, have you know, told a joke and everybody has laughed and nobody realized that that was a racist comment apart from me. So, you know, so you can be in a situation where, it, you know, you know it, it goes completely over your head because it doesn't, it doesn't affect you. So because it doesn't affect you, it doesn't exist. And that's not the case. You just not noticed. Jane Elliott has said this will be the last time she does her exercise on this scale. 
Having watched the twists and turns all day, I wanted to question her methods and beliefs. Jane, thank you very much indeed for putting this exercise on and for letting us watch. Um, but there are a number of things that have sprung to mind uh, watching it. D do you feel guilty about being white? Not at all. I didn't choose it. I can't lose it. Why would I feel guilty about it? Do you think there are things white people should feel guilty about? All white people should feel guilty about? Behaviors. White behaviors. Yes. But I don't think you, you do those things because you're white. I think you do those things because you're ignorant. So you're conditioned to do these things? Absolutely. To be racist? Absolutely. Do and it works. The conditioning is working. It has worked for a very long time. Do you think all white people are racist? I think if you graduated from high school and you aren't a racist, you weren't listening. You should have gotten an F in social studies. So that's a yes. All, that's all, a, all white people are racist. We are conditioned to the myth of white superiority from the moment of our, in fact, before birth. We are conditioned to the myth of white superiority. Some people who watched these events today will they'll have this interpretation of it and just just bear me out on it that you met these people you brutalized them to some extent you you, you were very hard on them you made them insecure you made them question all sorts of things about themselves did you ever see a lynching obviously not of course you did would you like to let's let, let, let's stick with the tradition of me asking the questions no, um, no. Let's, let's stick with this. What I do looks brutal to white people because that isn't something they have to live with all day every day. They but you know the them. accusation. The accusation is you're manipulating them. Of course and, I am. And that's wrong. You're playing with their feelings. Yes, and it's wrong when it's done on a, a, on a grand scale in society. It's even more wrong. But we do it all the time. You've been doing this for more than four decades. Yeah. What, what do you think people are going to say the legacy of Jane Elliott is? Don't care. You must care. You, Don't you, care. You've been doing this to change behavior and make the world a better place. You must care. Don't care. What people say about me is of little importance to me. Did I make a difference today? Did I make a difference today? Did I make a positive difference today in the area of racism? And that's what I want to do.